I believe that Charles molested my grandson. Charles is an evil person. He's mean to my daughter. He means to my grandson. He beats on my daughter. He do drugs. He takes her money. He made her lose her home. He's that type of person. I don't think that my daughter needs to be with him. About a year ago, I called Charles in the restaurant with my grandson. And I asked my grandson, did anything happen? He told me no. I got another one of my relatives to ask my grandson, did he touch him on anyway? And he, she came back and told me that he did touch him on his private part and his behind. The children's services came to my home and did a one-on-one -on -one with my grandson and asked him the same thing. And he told them that Charles did touch my grandson. Charles think that I'm coaching my grandson, but that's not the case. I'm not coaching him at all. Just because I don't like him, I wouldn't, I wouldn't lie on nobody like that. How did you find out your husband was being accused of touching your son? Well, I heard this from my grandmother. She started calling him a pedophile. I confronted her and asked her how he's a pedophile. She said because my mom told her that he was in the bathroom, my husband was in the bathroom with my son. And Would there be a reason why your husband would be in the bathroom with your son? No. No, so he normally wouldn't be in the bathroom at the same time? No. Okay. I got a call from the children's services saying that my mom had took my son to the hospital without me even knowing. How did you feel about that? I was very upset because that's my child. That's something that I needed to know. Now, she has custody of your son, right, because of these allegations? Yes, this just started November the 1st, last so Friday. So just last, last week? Yes. They came and they took your son. And put him in a home with her. And he didn't even, even want to go because he thought he was going to get a whipping for telling me the truth about the allegations. Right. Do you think that's what your mother kind of wanted all along? That yes. she wanted your son? She just wanted my son. Okay. Well, your mother's here. Let's meet her. Here's Shamika. It's Kiki, why would I damn lie about something like that? Why would I lie about something like that, Kiki? Why? Mom. Why? I don't have no reason to lie about nothing like that. I know what I see. I know what I see. I see CK in the damn restroom with my grandson. He's doing no good ass man. He ain't no good for you. If and you too bad to even see that. Why is he bad for her? Because he's beats her. He's on drugs. He done made her lose her apartment. He beats on my grandson. Ma, he never beat on him. Whipping and beating is two different things. He ain't got no beating and whipping on him at all. If he has, has he ever has he ever hit you? Yes. Why she was pregnant? We both, also, we both we both get into it though. That's what relationships do. No, no relationships don't do nothing not, like that. Not 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 good ones. Um, does he do drugs? Yes. Okay. Well. I kind of can see where a mother's concerned about her daughter and who she's married to. I'll be honest, I wouldn't want my daughter marrying some guy 21 years older than her. Wouldn't want it. But you're a grown woman. You can do what you want, and that's fair. But then my question to you is, what did you see in the bathroom? When I walked in the house, I seen CK in the restroom with my grandson. The door was shut, and when I was hollering my grandson's name, that's when the door opened. He opened up the door. Right. So I asked my grandson, did he molest, did he touch but, but him? But why are you automatically assuming that he's molesting the boy? I, I mean, I don't know what went on in the restroom. Right. But why would the door be shut when ain't nobody there but him and my grandson? Right. And you asked your grandson? I asked my grandson, he told me no. But I kept thinking... But you like, said to him what? Did your stepdad molest you? No, I asked him, did CK molest you? Did he touch you? Well, Any but else? why would you bring that up to a kid like that? I'm trying to find out why was they in the restroom right. together when and, no one else was in there. And that's what I'm saying. Why wouldn't you just ask, boy, what were you doing in there? Yeah, I did ask him that. And what did he say? He said nothing. OK. And, and then I said, what did happened? he touch you any kind of way? He said no. But I kept thinking about it and kept thinking about it. And I told my daughter to ask him. Maybe he felt comfortable telling my daughter. And what did he say to her? He said that he did touch him. 
and then you took the little boy to the hospital. Yes, I took him to the hospital. Without the mother knowing. It wasn't right, but I knew she was going to take up for him and say he didn't touch her son, because that's what she do. But now the fact is she said she questioned her son, and the son said nothing, that nothing happened. Yeah, that's what he told me. Um, Charles' sister, Chastity's here. Let's bring her out. Shamika, really? Yeah, you gonna really. my brother? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. No. Yeah, I'm ready. Are you so upset? I'm so upset because if my brother wants to touch kids, he got 10, Stop. I got 9, my other brother got 8. We all stay in the same house. Okay. So why would he single one out? We're here to find out if your grandson was molested, okay? Mm -hmm. um, let's bring Charles out. Charles, why do you think you're being accused of this? Because she hate me. You feel me? She hate me. Yeah. Do you hit uh, her daughter? We, we, we fight from time to time. She hits me. You, I you hit, hit her back. I hit her back. You feel me? Every but you night. shouldn't do that, right? Yeah. Listen, and I have to be clear because, you know, I'll get some idiots writing into the show. No woman has the right to hit you, yeah. right? Nobody should be hitting anybody. But as a man, you don't hit your wife. Exactly, exactly. You feel me? <laughs> um, do you do drugs? From, from time to time, you know, I snort a little coke. A blue, every blue moon. You feel me? Yeah. Has the police been involved with this? Yes. 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 So you're being questioned. Yeah. The, the, and investigated. The the tit called me, and told me to come, and I told him I was at my sister's house. We gave to come him the address. He never we, showed. He never showed. So the police never came and questioned. No. He, he never showed. But this I is call, this I, is a fairly recent case, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. I called back several times. It's an times open investigation. And no okay. answer. So your yeah. mother's here, right? Yes. Okay. This is your mother. Your mother's here. Let's bring her out, Vicky. And really, you don't even know what's going on. You don't either. You Lady. don't either. What do you, I know. You don't Ms. Vicky? You I, know. Hearsay. I know. Here's say, just what, like what? everybody else. He ain't else no is. good for Kenyatta. I mean, he a drug addict. He's a manipulator. Please. Uh, uh, a low-down, dirty dog. Okay. Cause first of all, would no man hit me? Yeah, I'd be laying up in the hospital. So. I'd be with my husband for 43 so. years. Let him hit me. That ain't nothing so. but a piece okay. of nothing. Okay, Vicky. Yeah. Do you believe Charles molested your yes. great grandchild? What are you doing in the bathroom with him? I don't know. I, oh, hey, that's what we need to know. I'm here for you to find the truth and get to the bottom of it. So what because is it? That rascal right there ain't gonna tell the truth if God come down here. Shamika came here, took a lie detector test, and we asked her, did you coach your grandson to say that Charles touched his private area? She answered no. Did your family member tell you that your grandson said that Charles touched his private area? She answered yes. Did you tell Kenyatta you saw Charles in the bathroom with your grandson? You said that she didn't. She answered yes. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Shamika told the truth. <laughs> Were you in the bathroom with them? I was doing it. I, I, I went in the bathroom. I got them, closed the door, closed the curtain, and all right, then, so. Yeah. He wasn't in the bathtub, yeah. liar. Uh, he was in the bathtub. Liar? He, he was in the bathtub. He was in the bathtub. He had on all his clothes. He was in the bathtub. Charles, you came here and you took a lie detector yeah. test. We asked you, have you ever touched Kenyatta's son for your own sexual gratification? You answered no. Have you ever touched Kenyatta's son's private part? You answered no. Results for your lie detector test is void due to illegal drug use. We gave, we gave you a drug test and you failed for cocaine. You choose to do cocaine instead of clearing your name. That's what happened. So the show's over. Tomorrow morning you're scheduled for a test at 7 a.m. I hope between now and 7 a.m. you can resist the urge to do cocaine. And with that, get the hell off my stage. Charles came back the following morning and I attempted to test him again. Unfortunately, he was still untestable due to his illegal drug use.